If you are somewhat familiar with Western groups, you will know that nobody ever mentions who the youngest is. This is because it just doesn't matter. It's not something worth talking about. But in K-pop it's completely different. In fact ever since I got into K-pop I always found it weird how the youngest members were assigned the MACNE title as if it was almost like a position. After all being the MACNE just means being the youngest. So I've always wondered why putting so much emphasis on it compared to other positions. You are the youngest just because you happen to debut with members that are older than you. It's just the way it is and it's not something that depends on your qualities and skills like having a vocal, dance or rap position. Being the MACNE in the group is not something you have control over. It's exactly like being the youngest in your family. You wouldn't even think it's something worth mentioning. You're the youngest. What's so special about it? But in K-pop it's different and being MACNE is such a big deal. Everybody always treats it as a distinctive role like the main vocalist for example. But why is that? I think in part it's because the K-pop industry is just generally very obsessed with youth. Young idols have always been debuting since the very beginning. And for some reasons they often happen to be the most popular in their respective groups. Some of the most popular K-pop idols are Macnees, such as Temin, Jungkook, Lisa, Chewie, Yuna, Haryan, Somi when she was in IOI and Won Young when she was in Ice One. All these people debuted when they were fairly young, and somehow they had everyone in a chokehold. The K-pop industry is really obsessed with youth to the point that grown adults are infantilized by their own companies who give them specific concepts to make them look younger. Especially with girl groups doing the school girl concept even if the members are no longer in school at all. There's just an extra effort to sometimes make the members look especially young and innocent. Egyo is also a very prominent component in Korean culture, which basically consists in acting cute like a kid, which it's mostly something you would do with your partner. But the K-pop industry ended up appropriating Egyo and turning it into a show. Something for the fans to enjoy and to fulfill the parasocial relationships between idols and fans. The last thing I want to mention about K-pop's obsession with youth is just how ageist the industry is. The Wester industry can also be quite ageist but not nearly as much as K-pop. Let's just think about the fact that if you are 20 years old you are already considered too old to debut. We've seen many contestants on survival shows who were desperate to make it into the final lineup because they knew that was their last chance. They knew that it would have been difficult for them to be able to debut because of their age. Which is crazy. But it's the sad truth. Younger trainees are the ones companies are looking for, especially for boy groups since male idols have to enlist. So it's better to debut them as young as possible. Korea is overall pretty obsessed with youth and I feel like this is the main reason the MACNE role is given so much importance, even if it actually doesn't matter at all. K-pop stands attach so much meaning to a position that is actually meaningless. It doesn't happen in every single fandom. Luckily there are many groups where MACNEs are treated normally. But unfortunately it's pretty common for stands to consider MACNE a personality trait. And I feel like this happens because some people just tend to perceive groups as a big family. Notice how there is always the mom and dad of the group, the middle children and then the babies. This is how fandoms perceive their groups and they will inevitably push these roles onto them. In fandoms there are many inside jokes about the members having a family dynamic. For example, having the sibling duo, the parent duo and so on. There's nothing wrong with that. It's fun most of the time, except when people start becoming a little too obsessed. This is what has been happening with the MACNE role. Because now MACNE no longer means just being the youngest, but it's also considered some kind of personality trait. A MACNE is supposed to be lively, funny, cute, playful and a bit mischievous. Otherwise they are not MACNE enough. It's almost as if people forgot that every idol has their own personality. And just because they happen to be the youngest it doesn't mean they have to fit into a box. There are plenty of MACNEs that do not like being babied. There are plenty of MACNEs that are very mature, maybe even more than the oldest member. And there are plenty of MACNEs that are introverted and are not gonna be the chaotic MACNE you expect them to be. It's especially annoying when some MACNEs are mostly just talked about for being MACNEs, as if being the youngest was something that defined them, as if it was their personality trait. The biggest example is probably Unche from La Seraphim. 99% of the time I see people talking about her it's because of how MACNE she is. If they praise her it's because of her MACNE personality and things like that. It's very rare to see people actually talking about her talents and things that are not related to her personality. I hate the way people associate being the youngest to a certain type of behavior. 
but as long as K-pop stands keep on treating groups just like characters in a story, this will never change. Idols are people just like us and every person is different, regardless of how old they are. You can say that treating the Macni title as a personality trait it's overall not a big deal, and I would agree, if it wasn't for the fact that this inevitably leads to people comparing members and creating unnecessary fan wars. We reached a point where people use the Macni as the example of how every Macni should be, and they start attacking every Macni that doesn't conform to their standard. The way stands are treating these idols as if they were fictional characters is crazy. It's like you expect them to play a role, and if they don't then they aren't good enough. I'm tired of seeing people constantly comparing Macnies, especially because it's useless. The only thing they have in common is being the youngest in the group, but other than that they are all different people with different personalities. Comparing them is just as ridiculous as comparing different people that have the same hair color. Yes they have the same hair color and so what? They're still different people and it's not like you can expect them to behave in a certain way just because they both happen to have the same hair. That's stupid. And it's no different than comparing Macnies. There's no such thing as a real Macnie. There's no such thing as a Macnie not being Macnie enough. It's just bullshit and the way you have such double standards for different Macnies is utterly disgusting. For example the way you bully Esau while uplifting Uncha. Esau is an amazing person that has never done anything wrong to deserve such hatred and is actually full of talents and positive qualities that you all just refuse to acknowledge for some reason. While Uncha is not just a Macnie and it's disgusting how some of you only use her as a comparison. Instead of appreciating her for who she is as a person instead of obsessing over her being the youngest. So in the end, what is a real Macni? Is there even such thing as a real Macni? The answer is no. A Macni is simply the member who just so happens to be the youngest, not someone that possesses specific qualities related to their age. There's no such thing as a real Macni. There's no such thing as being Macni enough or not being Macni enough. K-pop stands always preach about how talent is the most important thing but then they obsess over stupid things like this. It's such a non-issue. But of course we know K-pop stands are masters of turning non-issues into drama. So in conclusion, there is no right or wrong way of being a Macni and y'all are just jobless and have way too much time on your hands if you think there is. Anyway this was it guys. Tell me what you think about this topic and let me know if your fandom has ever had a problem with this type of thing. Thanks for watching. Bye everyone. Thank you.